back to the channel of Probands of Vids and this is my quick thoughts on the trade deal that just got confirmed today between both Chris Randall and uh, Greg Marzu from the uh, Titans. And uh, yeah, both players have uh, both uh, commenced a player swap. So Chris Randall will join the um, Titans the next two years on a two year deal. And Greg Marzu signs with the Newcastle Knights for just the one season in 2023. So a very interesting trade here. I definitely think that the Knights are the clear winners out of this one, but I guess you can't underestimate Chris Randall and the Titans pick up as well. I mean, it only takes time to see how both um, trades or how, how the trade has actually went in the 2023 season. Just got to find out by next year and see who got the um, more benefits out of that trade. I guess we'll find out next year. But um, yeah, but before I sort of continue furthermore, I just want to say that, you know, I'm very close to 2,800 subscribers. Literally only four or three subs away from getting this that goal. So... If, if I can hit that um, 2,800 subscriber mark by the end of this week, by Friday, I, I say by the least, as, as it's Wednesday today, um, that would be ideal, and that's probably the best thing for me to get to 2,800 by the end of the week. So um, please do subscribe if you haven't already, because it would be greatly appreciated for myself and the channel. So I uh, thought I might just add that in quickly, but yeah, to just continue further on with my thoughts on the, the trade, um, I will say that, you know, the Titans, I don't know, I don't know where they really fit Chris Randall because I think that the um, Titans already have enough hookers as it is. They've already got Sam Verrills as their probably preferred starting hooker. Then they've got um, Aaron Clark, but I think Aaron Clark's making a bit of a transition to lock. I, from my understanding, so um, maybe that's why they probably fall out further depths of the hooker positions needed as Aaron Clark's making a, a um, positional swap. And uh, yeah, the other one's Aaron Booth, um, who recently got an ACL injury this year uh, during the 2022 season. So hopefully he comes back well, I, I guess, for um, Aaron Booth. But um, yeah, a bit of a strange pickup, I guess. But I think if you think of depth and you think of um, some experienced depth, I, I think Chris Randall's a very good pickup. I think he's played enough games to be considered, you know, good experience. And um, yeah, I think he'll um, provide a good service for the Titans, I think, if Sam Verrills, for example, was ever to miss a few games, you know. So I think Titans definitely get a good one in Chris Randall. But I just think when you look at both players and how, the way that they play, I think you've got to think whereas Greg Marvs is probably going to benefit the Knights more than um, Randall will the Titans. But like I said, time will tell in 2023 both on both where these players stand in terms of the trade and who got the more benefits out of it. But yeah, as for the Knights, you know, uh, Greg Marvs, you obviously a fantastic player, very, very strong, powerful winger. Um, I can only imagine a backline of potentially, oh, I don't know, Ponga might go to the, half, might go to the halves, so I'm not sure who the fullback and 5 8 will be. But if you think of a centre wing pairing of, like, for example, Gagai and Marzu and Best and Young, like, that's pretty strong, you know, that's pretty exciting for Knights fans. If I was, if, you know, if I was a Knights fan, I'd be pretty excited about that. So I think Greg Marzu going to that Knights team and playing around guys like Hastings, who's another one that got a good um, trade deal out of getting. Uh, Hastings, and then they got, you know, guys like, like I said, Bram Bess, he's injury-free, Dom Young, uh, Ponga, Saifidi boys. It's it's a very talented team, and I think that Marzu just adds that it, furthermore to the talent that they already have in Newcastle. So uh, it's a great pickup, I reckon, and um, I think Greg Marzu getting let go by, by the Titans is pretty stupid, in my opinion. Like, I, I've seen a lot of Titans, uh, Titans fans are upset about losing Greg Marzu, and I cannot, I cannot blame them one bit because... I'd be upset if I lost one of my only few good backs, you know. No offence, but I, I think Greg Marv is only one, only one of the few um, Titans backs that really stand out for me because I don't think there's any that really, you know, kill it or stand out as as much as Marv has, especially in 2022. So, a bit of a weird one, but we'll see how he goes in Newcastle and we'll see how Randall goes at the Titans, I guess. But anyways, everyone, that's my quick thoughts on the trade deal both between Chris Randall going to the Titans and Greg Marv's to the Knights. Um... Let me know in the comment section down below and who you think benefited from the trade, like who won the trade in your opinion. Let me know in the comment section down below. But um, thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, comment your thoughts on the video and comment your thoughts on who won the trade.